Hey guys, today's lesson is going to be a pretty quick one. Uh, again, this is kind of a review of things that you've done before uh, during fifth grade, uh, but it's just helpful for us to refresh ourselves on these things before we move forward. Um, our ultimate goal, remember, is to be able to multiply and divide fractions. So in order to make sure we can do that, we need to uh, understand adding and subtracting as well. Today we're just going to look at adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. Um, so for very, you know, a very, very simple problem we can do is something like one-fourth plus one-fourth. And it's a very easy process. Uh, anytime you have addition, it, it, it's, it's a very simple process. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and add one plus one. That gives us two. And now here's the only thing that we have to make sure we remember when it comes to adding fractions with like denominators, is that when we do this, we have to make sure that we leave the denominator the same. Okay. So my fraction then would be two-fourths. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, why did I add the numerators, one and one, and leave the denominators alone? Because technically, if we did the addition, it would be four plus four is eight. Well, let's take a look for a second at why we don't change the denominator. I have a square here that's broken up into four pieces. So if I was going to shade in one-fourth, which is what I started with in my math problem, it would look like this. Okay. Now, if I added another fourth, if I went ahead and shaded one more fourth, it would look like this. So now I have two out of the four pieces shaded in. Notice that the size of the pieces or the number of pieces that were there did not change when I did this. I still have two pieces shaded in out of four total. So because of the fact that I'm not changing the pieces that this is out of, I don't change my denominator. I leave my denominator the same because I still have the same number of pieces I started with. I just have two more now. If you remember back to the last video that you watched, we talked about simplifying fractions. And if you look at 2 fourths, we know that that is not in simplest form. My divisibility rules tells me that 2 and 4 are both even numbers, so I can simplify this fraction. I can take and divide them both by 2 since they're even. And my new fraction now, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 1 half. It's really pretty simple when we're adding fractions with like denominators. Okay. Here's another example of adding fractions with like denominators. Let's say two-fifths plus uh, one-fifth. Okay. Now, two plus one is three. My denominator, we don't add, we actually just leave it the same. And my answer is three-fifths. The last thing I need to make sure I do whenever I do this is say, hmm, do I need to simplify? And in this case, three and five do not need to be simplified. There's a few different things we can look at when, we, when it comes to knowing if we need to simplify. And I might have mentioned these in the last video, but they're worth mentioning again. I know that this fraction is in simplest form because both the numerator and the denominator are prime numbers, meaning the only numbers that, are, that three is divisible by are one and three. Only divisible five numbers five is divisible by are one and five. The only thing that matches there is one. Now, if I divided both three and five by one, I end up with uh, three and five. So I end up writing the fraction again, and I would continue doing so and over and over again, and that would just be uh, a lot of wasted effort. So because of the fact that they don't share any common factors other than one, I know I'm in simplest form. A couple other methods you can use is anytime you have a one as a numerator, you know you're in simplest form because one is only divisible by one. And anytime you have numbers that are in sequential order, like your numerator is one less than your denominator, uh, it's a pretty good bet that you're in simplest form there. Pretty simple, right? Just all you got to do is add the numerator and leave the denominator the same. So you can try one here. All right, let's take a look here. Let's try uh, one sixth plus, uh, let's, and I know this will be an improper fraction to start with, but we'll go with two-sixths. I want to have a an outcome that uh, you can work with and simplify. So go ahead and hit pause, do the addition, do the simplification if necessary, and then hit play and see the answer. All right. If you did the one plus two for your numerator, you came up with three. Six numerator or the denominator stays the same and you end up with three-sixths. Hopefully you saw that you can divide both three and six by three, 
and that gives me 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and you end up with 1 half as a simplified fraction. Remember, all you got to do when you add fractions that have like denominators, that the num number at the bottom is the same, is just add the numerators together, leave the denominator the same, and simplify as necessary. Pretty simple, right? Let's try subtraction, though. Let's see if subtraction works the same way. Let's say that I have uh, 4 sevenths minus 2 sevenths. Again, when I'm adding or taking away, I'm not changing the size of the pieces that I'm adding or taking away. So my denominator is still going to stay the same. The only thing that's different in this one is now I'm subtracting. So 4 minus 2 is 2, and my denominator stays the same. Can I simplify? I've got two prime numbers here. 2 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number. I cannot simplify. So I have my answer of 2 sevenths. Okay? Same process as adding. The only thing you're doing differently is you're just subtracting this time. You go ahead and give one a shot. Here's your example. Let's try uh, 9 tenths minus uh, 3 tenths. Hit pause. Work the problem out. Simplify if necessary and hit play to see the answer. All right, let's see how you did here. If you did the subtraction, 9 minus 3 is 6. We leave the denominator the same as 10. Looking at those two numbers, hopefully you saw then that 6 and 10 are both even, so we know we can divide by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is... 3, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the answer then is 3 fifths. Adding and subtracting by like denominators is very simple. It's a very easy process. Really, the, the most difficult part of it is just making sure you have your fraction in simplest form. Short video today. Hope you guys learned something, and as always, if you need any help, please stop in and see me.